in Muay Thai Chakri. This is Gru Chakri and Gru Jam. Jam. Gru Jam. Gru Jam was a great champion and so was Gru Chakri. They're trying to take me, a 40 year old Western boxer, and turn me into a Muay Thai fighter. We'll see if they can do it. Muay Thai is an ancient martial art. A lot of people believe that Muay Thai started in Cambodia, in the Angkorian Empire, or even before that, one of the early Khmer empires, and that later it migrated across to Thailand. Now, a lot of people here in Thailand, a lot of the monks and experts who I talk to, believe that there was already some type of martial art in Thailand. It's, it's unlikely that there wasn't. Maybe the fighting techniques were refined into an art about 500 years ago. And then in the 20th century, they added the gloves and the ring. The most important thing when you're fighting is your heart. Your heart's got to be strong. This guy is a hardcore Kyoko Kinke fighter from Japan. That's the type of bare knuckle kickboxing where he's a Christian like in Muay Thai. He trained in soccer, he went back to Japan to won his fight. Uh, top point. Alright, so we can punch, we can kick. Okay. So when we're fighting one time, we can kick, we can punch, we can use elbows, we can use knees. You see, he's hitting me with his shin. And one of the things about Muay Thai, you gotta have hard shins. But if you get hit with a shin, that's gonna cut you just like a knife. Same thing with these elbows, they're gonna cut. That hurts a lot worse than getting punched. Alright, so let's take a look at some training. In Thailand, kids will actually fight professionally from about age 8. According to the law, I believe they have to be 14 or 15 before they're allowed to fight for money. But in reality, we see kids as young as 8 years old, even 5 years old fighting. One of my Thai teachers told me his first professional fight, he was 5 years old. In the old days, fighters fought without gloves and there weren't a lot of rules. Later, in about the 1920s, when Thailand began to modernize under King Rama V, we first started adding, say, electricity and trains and some modern technology. At that time, they began to introduce gloves and they had rules in the Muay Thai. And the first Muay Thai stadiums were built and it became a big professional sport. Now, today in Thailand, there's somewhere between 60 and 90,000 registered professional Thai boxers. And there's not really an amateur circuit. There's actually a set of rules for amateur Muay Thai. So it does exist, but it's just not common because most Thai people have the idea, look, if you're gonna go in the ring and get kicked and punched, you might as well get paid for it. But although now, Muay Thai is going to be added to the Sea Games, the Southeast Asian Games, and then I would assume also to the Asian Games, which means there will be amateur Muay Thai practice throughout the region. That's a tough part. Now we're gonna talk about blocking. Okay, you see how we block? In a typical Muay Thai block, you use your shin to block the kick of your opponent. But if you look at this, it's extremely painful. Can you see the block? The block is when it's bringing up your shin or blocking. Now in uh, Taekwondo or Karate, maybe you're going to try to block with your hand, but in Muay Thai, your hand's going to get broken if you try that. So we're going to block with our shin, so your shin's going to have to be really hard. Oh, wow. I like that. <laughs> This technique is infinitely superior to the block because instead of your shin hitting your opponent's shin, it's hitting your opponent's calf. It's really hurt. Okay, see that technique? He's kicking at me, I slide to the right, and then kick his leg out from under. Bob Akiwat is a high school student in Bangkok. He's college bound, but he's learning Muay Thai because he believes it's part of his culture. <laughs> What is your name? Uh, How old are you? Uh, Where are you from? Uh, Orlando. Orlando, are you a professional fighter? Absolutely not. Hey, why are you here? No idea. <laughs> no idea. I like the fight. Uh, do you like Muay Thai? I like Muay Thai. What do you like about it? Kicks and elbows. Why? Nasty. Hey, if uh, Muay Thai gets in a fight with Taekwondo, who's going to win? Not Taekwondo. Why? It's not nasty. I hear at Muay Thai Chakri, I get 
as many rounds as I want with my coach on the pads. So we usually do three or four rounds of hands and then two rounds of, of legs because I'm still learning to kick. My training in Thailand is a really, really, really good experience. doesn't cost as much money as you think. You don't have to be rich to do it. And uh, I just tell everybody, look, you know, if you want to go overseas and train, just do it. Just go, just go, just go and work out the details later. Just go. Because if you wait until you can afford it, you wait till you can do it, it's just not going to happen for you. And it's so easy. And once you get here, Thailand has incredible food on the street. The 20 baht, 30 baht, 40 baht. You know, 40 baht's a dollar right now. So, I mean, you know, for a dollar, you can get a meal on the street. And it's really incredible Thai food that you pay 25, 30 dollars for in New York. And the food's great. Uh, accommodation, as I said, you can get in Chiang Mai, you can get an apartment for 3,000 baht a month, a decent apartment. An efficiency apartment, 3,000 baht. It's just under $100. A good gym is going to have you going in on, on some type of circuit. You're going to be, for example, they're going to tell you do two rounds of shadow boxing, two rounds uh, on the bag, two rounds on the uppercut and hook bag, four rounds of hands, two rounds of kicks with your trainer. And that's already, what, 8, 10, 12 rounds. I mean, that's a lot of training. And it'll take you months to get to a point that you're in shape enough to get through there. Certainly weeks, depending upon your conditioning when you get over here. And then the next step will be you'll be doing conditioning and weights if they have it, sit-ups, push-ups, and then additional rounds of uh, with your coach, additional rounds in the bags. When you get very professional, you have the heavy bag, medium bag, floor-to-ceiling bag, and then, of course, sparring. So what you want to do is your training should be divided into rounds and you get to a point where you're training 12, 14, 15 rounds a day. And if you can do 15 rounds of training, then you're at a point that you're going to be pretty good to go into a professional fight. A professional fight, of course, is five rounds, five two-minute rounds in kickboxing and Muay Thai. All right, we watched this guy kicking. He is putting no effort into it, but these are, kicks are hard, man. You don't want this guy kicking you in the shin or in the thigh, which is what they're going to do. We'll see you next time. A one, a two, a one, two, three, four.